everyone, welcome to WP Zoom. Today we're going to be looking at the Inspiro Pro thing. It's a really exciting new thing from us with very, very tight Elementor integration. Um, so for those of you who are fans of Elementor or looking for a stylish uh, new website, then uh, look no further than Inspiro Pro. We're going to cover installation, downloading, all the bits and pieces you need to get up and running in quick time. So if you've purchased the Inspiro Pro theme, the first thing you want to do is actually download it. Now, if you navigate to your account details here and go to your downloads and simply scroll down to where you can find the Inspiro Pro theme here. There we go. So you can just click to download that. All you have to do in your WordPress backend is go to appearance and themes. And once that's loaded, all you have to do is remember to drag in your, your file. So if you go to add new, and we want to upload theme. And then we do is drag it from wherever it may be stored. If it's on your desktop, you can choose a file here and then open it that way. I've actually got it downloaded here. So I'm just going to drag that over and hit install. That's it. So all you have to do. Okay. So we've shown you how to download the theme. We've shown you how to install the theme. And in this next segment, we're going to look at activating the theme. Well, I've already activated the theme. Uh, which brings me on to the license key. Now I've cut and paste and activated mine already. But remember, if you haven't jotted your uh, code down, uh, you can easily find it in your account settings on WP Zoom. Just hover over license keys, then scroll down to grab your key. Cut and paste, once done. Go to the quick start menu. Now, what we've done here is we've tried to make the process as easy as we possibly can for you. So you've actually got a little bit of an onboarding guide. So you can just go through all the steps, uh, install and activate plugins and, and that sort of thing. First of all, we're going to install some required plugins. Now, these are required. The first two, Elementor, which, by the way, you don't have to have the pro version of Elementor to get the most out of Inspiro Pro. We've actually got our own add-ons for um, Elementor, which templates uh, and that sort of thing to make it really look crisp. Now, these two are required for our demo. Uh, these three aren't, but in this instance, we're going to import these, uh, we're going to install these and activate them. So all you have to do is click install and activate. Now that'll go on in the background. Now this is on uh, on a staging site now. So um, again, you're going to get different mileage depending on which hosting provider you're going to use. Now this could take a while to do. It could be a fairly short process and voila, how quick was that? Okay, really quick. And bear in mind, this is on a staging site as well. Okay, so that's done. We've installed the plugins. We've activated the plugins. That's all good. Next up, we want to choose um, some demo content. Now, we always recommend whenever you're importing demo content to do it on a fresh installation of WordPress. Um, that way you can flesh out your site, build it the way you want to do it. And uh, it's just a smoother process for you. So I've selected the eccentric, uh, eccentric demo and you can see here the selected template template is eccentric. Now I'm going to import the demo content. I might have to pause the video. I'm not sure. Let's see how quick it is. So here we go. We got some demo and call, uh, demo content importer settings. We've got advanced settings. You can activate child theme, regenerate thumbnails and, and that sort of stuff. And you've got the server requirements and system details. I'm going to ignore those. I'm just going to hit start importing. Now, this is really cool because what's happening here is we're importing basically a like for like demonstration of the um, of the demo that you see on the WP Zoom site. OK, so the demo content's been imported. It literally took about four minutes, but I didn't want you to sit there and be bored. Um, what we do recommend is that you don't actually navigate out of this uh, out of this box while the navigation the importation process is going on because it could make things, uh, it could screw things up. Imported, let's have a look, let's take a quick look at our site, see what's going on. And there you go, all imported, look at that, it looks absolutely gorgeous, really, really nice, lovely design. Um, brilliant stuff on there, some really cool things going on. Um, right, so that's the demo imported. Next up, we're going to take a look at some other bits and pieces, we're going to uh, delve a little bit deeper into our add-on for um, Elementor as well. 
Before we move on to other areas of interest, just a quick one. If you want to delete the demo data that's been imported, you can do. All you have to do is go to Theme License and Quick Start and simply click on whichever one you want to delete. Okay, brilliant. Now we're going to move on. Now we're going to move on to the home page, first of all. Now you'll notice that we've got this really nice slider here. Now, this is really cool. And one of the reasons we've done this, is, the way we've done it, is to make it super simple for you, the user. So you'll notice that we've got the slider there. Now, we've created a post type called Slideshow. And it's here that you can input some details about your actual, the video content that you want to show, or images, or whatever you need. So if you go into one of these, just quickly show you how it works. And this is the text that will display on the front and then further down we've got the video URL that we actually want to display you can use YouTube you can use Vimeo uh, you can upload your own self-hosted one you can use WebM video you can upload a, a mobile video if you want to if you want to do it that way and you can show various controls and that sort of stuff okay so now we've looked at that let's go back let's say you want to change the order so that's fine we can do that quite easily so if we click on reorder, and let's say we want to put that one at the bottom, just move it down, click save order, and that will reflect on the home page. Very nice, very easy to use, and very simple. If you want to go a little bit further than that, you can do. If you go to the customizer, and let's say you wanted to change the size of the slider. So here we are. So if you click on home page slider, and you want to go to look and feel and you want to change the slider height you can and it's reflected there if you want to change other elements like uh, play the background video on mobile you can you can disable that you can enable it here we can change the display title display side content there you go very easy very simple to use and if you want to do some other things as well, you can change the color. Now this is really quite cool. So let's say you want to put an overlay color on your video so you can make the text more prominent. You can at the moment, it's selected at, uh, at black, but if you want to change that, you can just move that around to whatever you desire. You see it changing on the screen as I do that. Okay, and an end color, so we can change that as well if we like. If you want to change the direction, very simple to do diagonal diagonal and here you can change the opacity opacity levels of the beginning color and end color and the location where you want them to start and of course an end location as well okay so it's nice and simple easy to use next we're actually going to go physically into um, some templates and we're going to be looking at our add-ons for elementor as well so if we covered quite a fair bit today actually but um, this is one of the sections that I think is going to be of real interest to those that are familiar with Ele Elementor. Basically we, we've really gone out of our way to, to make Inspire Pro as user friendly as humanly possible. Now what we've also done is we've created a load of templates for you as well for your your portfolio items. So if you hover over to portfolio, uh, sorry to template, there's a load of different page templates here and you'll notice the portfolio ones there. So basically you could click something like that and you could say, we're just going to save it and we can have a quick preview of it. And if we refresh this page, there you go, bang. Straight away, it's actually built the page. It's fi it's filterable as well. Um, sorry, you can navigate to different categories, that sort of thing. So we've got different templates for portfolios, but what if you want to make your own one? What if you want to do things a little bit differently? Well, you've got the freedom to do whatever you like. So here, what we can do is if we switch that to, I don't know, let's change that to Elementor full width. So we'll save that there and let's 
start editing with Elementor. Now this is where you're going to find out about the add-ons, uh, in particular the WP Zoom Elementor add-on that we've uh, actually got. It's available in the WordPress, uh, WordPress plugin directory. You can use it um, for free. It's completely free to use. All you would say is that the portfolio sections are only really for usage with uh, the Inspiro uh, range of themes, Pro, Lite, that sort of thing. Okay, so if you wanna try it out, please do. You're more than welcome to. Let's hop back and here we are. Now, this is where things get interesting and this is really cool. So what we've done is we've created a range of um, templates for you to import. So you've just bought Inspiro Pro and you wanna add a, a, a template into a, a page of your choosing, you can do. What you have to do is find one that you like the look of and simply insert the template. And we've got a range of different ones here and we've got, you know, different styles and you know, that sort of thing. So you can choose something a little bit different if you wish. Now let's just take this one. We're just going to insert this now. And what's happening in the background is it's importing the layout and there you go. So that's that done. And if we uh, take a quick look, preview the changes, just open up a new, new browser for a new browser window. I can see that beautiful effect there. That's fantastic, that's really good. And obviously you can click on that and go into the person to find more details. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Let's say you wanted to get rid of this and you can just by going here and we can delete that. Now let's say you wanna add a, a portfolio showcase. Well, now you can. Here in the element section, you can just pick uh, one of our widgets, one of our add-ons, and you can simply drag it in, drop it, and there you go. All done for you. What you can do now is change various things like the HTML tag, give give it a title, show specific um, portfolio entries. So you might want to display all or you know just certain specific ones. And how many posts you want to display, you can change that to however many you need. You can load them dynamically, design an appearance. There's loads of different options here. We can set them to, <clears throat> we can set the content to enable background video on hover. And there's loads of stuff we can do here. It's actually another video in itself really, but that's just one of the uh, modules. So if we go back here, we can, uh, we can delete that. And we can add another one. We could add a slider in there and we have to do is just add in your information about the slider. So nice and simple. Again, very easy to use. We've got a directed section as well, which I think we've uh, shown you already. Yeah, that one there. Oh, there's loads here. We'll do another video. I think it'll probably be easier so you can get a full grasp of what's available. Next up, we're just going to take a, a final few look, uh, a final look at a few options in the customizer, the native customizer for uh, for WordPress. Uh, things like colors and that sort of thing to so give you an idea of, of what how you can make changes that benefit you and stay within your branding Well, we've covered most things we've done installation. We've done download. We've done activation. We've done importing a content We've shown you um, how it works with Elementor. We've shown you the add-ons Lastly is one thing that we think you should be made aware of um, Which is quite a nice feature as well again. It's It's something that really makes the theme stand out. So if you navigate to the customizer, which I've just done, and we go to theme design, obviously we've got the eccentric um, design uh, imported, but what if we want to change um, change it slightly? So what if we want to add a um, slightly different look? So what you do is click this here, click publish. And what we have to do is you have to refresh the page. So once that's published, we can refresh it. And you'll notice when it loads, slightly different look about it. It's, it's, it's not so dark, it's lighter, it's still got all the same functionality, but it's got a light feel to it. Again, we can do this with the, uh, the next theme along. Um, we'll publish that. And we'll do a quick, quick refresh on this one as well. So let's hit refresh. And again, You'll see different types of style of, 
of text of fonts but still retains the same layout but a slightly different look so this is quite an easy way for you as an individual to actually mix things up do things a little bit differently so we're just going to head back switch that put that back on again refresh the page and we're back to back to normal again a couple of things that are worth noting obviously you've got full typography options here you can choose different fonts for specific elements change the the, 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 um, the size of the fonts that sort of stuff won't go too much into that because it's fairly self-explanatory color wise you can change different colors you can change link colors you can do all these sorts of things again very self-explanatory uh, blog posts all the color settings there nice and simple header options uh, we can if you don't like it if you've got loads of menu items and perhaps you want to shrink things down you can just put the hamburger icon on and you've got this lovely effect there so you can go through and do that as well so we put it back to normal and we can choose from a narrow width or a full width so narrow the hamburger menu looks quite nice and we can disable the search enable and we can stick the menu to the top if we so desire home page slider we've already covered but that's pretty much about it really you'll find out for yourself when you purchase inspiro pro it really is aimed at um, anybody who's got, who needs to showcase a portfolio it's got tons of features and now with up our add-ons and elementor and, and such such a tight integration you can get up and running in next to no time at all until next time, we hope you've enjoyed this quick walkthrough and um, take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon. Take care.